good morning, Facebook friends. Listen, a little vertical hope today for you. Ah! from Faith Builders Ministries. Oh my gosh. Um, if you re if you listen to my video about Rahab and um, Joshua, I believe it's six, I'm just going to piggyback off that. And Joshua six, two, I just wanted to just share with you, although Rahab knew that the, that Jericho was doomed and she knew that God was going to destroy it. Remember, she was putting that flax seed up on her roof and she thought she was just drying that out to make some linen maybe, but God had a different plan. Remember, Joshua sent two spies over to check out uh, Jericho. Well, remember, God used those two spies to be a witness to uh, Rahab and her whole family got saved. So um, it just went to show to me that the, many times the purpose that we have for what we're doing is not the purpose God's going to use that for. Amen. But I am in Joshua 6 today. And I was reading in 6-2 when it says, The Lord said to Joshua, See, I have delivered Jericho into your hands along with its kings and its fighting men. Now listen how God told him how they were going to win the war. This cracks me up. This is not the way I would plan to win a war. But listen what God said. He said in uh, Joshua 6, 3, he said, March around the city once with all your armed men. They were armed, okay? <laughs> Do this for six days. Have seven priests carrying trumpets of ram horns in the front of the ark. On the seventh day, march around the city seven times with the priests blowing the trumpets. When you hear them sound a long blast on the trumpets, have all the people give a loud shout. Then the wall of the city will collapse and the people will go up every man straight in. Wow. This is what I was reading. God says, you're going to win this war. You're going to win this battle. You're going to take over Jericho, but this is how you're going to do it. You're going to march around Jericho six times and shh, you're not going to say a word. <laughs> you're going to be armed, but you're not going to use your artillery. <laughs> He says, you're going to march around six times and on the seventh day, for six days, one time, and on the seventh day, you're going to march around seven times. And on the seventh lap around, <laughs> when you're dog tired, wore out, don't have nothing else to give, you just done all you can do and you're thinking, my Lord, really? <laughs> We're on our seventh day marching around for the seventh time. Shh. We can't say a word. We can't use our our artillery. <laughs> but when you hear those trumpets, blow, <laughs> then I want you to open your mouth. Then I want you to shout. And when you shout, that victory shout, those walls will come crumbling down. Woo that is some good news today. Listen, you may be walking around Jericho for your fourth time. Some of you may just, this may be your first lap. Some of you, your fifth. Some of you are on their seventh lap around the seventh time of Jericho. And you are just anticipating those horns of blowing. And you're going to shout and give God victory in what he's done. And watch those, those walls crumble down. Whatever you're believing God for. And my vertical hope for you today is that you not give up on lap one and you not give up on lap two and you not give up on lap three and that you don't be you don't be uh, discouraged or dismayed and you don't be tempted to start shouting before you're supposed to but you shh before your God and you don't whip out your artillery to fight the battle on your own because God says your battles are him my hope for you today is that you get a hold of this word that you know that you might be on your sixth lap around but the seventh lap is right around the corner and those horns are gonna blow and you victory. Amen. Those walls that you've been praying for for years. Some of you for your children. Some of you for your parents. Some of you for a new job. Some of you for some release of, of some past hurts. Some of you for, for addictions. And I'm telling you what, when those horns blow, those walls that have been, that have been bound in you for all this time are going to come crumbling down. But shh. Sit quietly before the Lord. Sit quietly before the Lord. And you just listen. He don't want you talking right now. He don't want you trying to get out in front of him, although it's impossible to do. He doesn't want you doing anything but tell what he's telling you to do. 
And like I said, you may be on your fifth march around or six, or you just may be beginning, but you believe, you you just have faith that God's going to do what he says he's going to do. His word, folks, it does not return void. No way does it return void. I'm a witness to that. Not once has this word ever returned void in my life. Hallelujah. And that's your vertical hope today. Woo-hoo-hoo-hoo. I got chills for you today. I got chills because God's going to do something miraculous in your life. And you just hang on. You just hang on and you hear those trumpets blow. Then you give shout to victory. Then you shout and, and give your praise report how God delivered. Amen. Amen. God bless you. Have a wonderful day. Woohoo! Amen.